Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's another pick a card. All right, so I'm having to do things a little differently. Um, if I can't hang with it, okay, right now this looks right side up to you, but it is upside down to me. So anyways, we have group one with this stone, group two, the tweeter with amethyst, group three, the UFO with labradite. I'm gonna go ahead and pull some on camera as well. So you can see how I do this, you know, I don't make shit up, cards come out, how they come out. I don't even know what this is going to be about, but it will be titled Pick a Rainbow, because I feel like a lot of you guys are seeing rainbows. On the bottom of the deck we have a grape and owls. Time to go out and have some fun, good advice from a wise person over a misunderstanding in your life. So. Anyways, as usual, it could pertain to your past, your present, your potential, your future. Not only talking about you, but people's situations going on around you. I feel drawn to this deck as well, so there we go. Get some messages. And then I think I'm probably going to draw other cards on top of it once we get going. So again, group one, group two, group three. I'll try not to make them too long. If you're drawn to all three, that's fine too. There's probably something there for you. If none of the reads resonate you might want to jump out and go look at something else on my channel, okay? I'll be right back with group one. All right, group one, for those that chose this stone, or if you chose the pride robot farmer over here. And also, I want to point out the address on this is 1212 East First. Anyways, <coughs> let's get started. I shall try to turn them back around, okay? 144 on the timer as I'm starting to read. Goddess of the Moon community angel of strength so for some of you you are been being shown that some people in your community don't have your best interest at heart and the angels are coming in to give you the strength to move away from this person's situation okay don't discount any information that comes through to you as well we've got leo coming in here as well and also heard earth signs Pay attention to the moon phases, guys, because they're really important. Uh, also, pay attention to your moon sign, the horoscope, the zodiac reads for your moon sign, whether it's me or on another channel, okay? Just putting that out there. We have defend yourself. So, it is important for you guys to shield yourself from unwanted energies, from low vibe energies. Somebody here needs to get an evil eye pendant. Sometimes the ones who are closest to you, we have we have to be the we have to watch out for them, okay? Tree. Affairs with your family, okay? So this is coming over community. So this could be also not just friends, could be someone in your family that you're needing to detach from, move away from, that you need to defend yourself or shield yourself from. They're giving you strength to do so. And then look, protected protected from negative forces beyond your control. I can't make this up the cobweb. spider coming through even though there's not a spider there the angels are giving you the strength to defend yourself you might be taking extra measures you might be drawn to wear i just saw a necklace so you could be drawn to wear a certain necklace a lot or really drawn to a specific type of pendant and you're not maybe you're not really sure why and i'm going to use this new deck that i just call, got called the crystal medicine oracle let's see if we need to let's see about getting some more stuff out of here okay one at a time, please, and we are only communicating with my higher self and my spirit guides. Thank you, benevolent spirit guides, benevolent light beings we only communicate with, okay? One at a time, everybody needs to back up. I'm, I can tell there's a lot of energy with me right now because I'm starting to get discombobulated, a little confused, and uh, I'm like wanting to go everywhere. So what do we have for group one? What else would you like group one to know? I'm gonna reach in, pull one out. Self-expression, Larimer crystal coming through. So self-expression coming over, shield yourself, also defending yourself, speaking up for yourself, standing your ground, speaking up for maybe somebody who, who isn't there to take up for themselves as well. I, I feel like looking at the bottom of the deck, so we have moving forward. You're moving forward for some of you you're moving for towards a new community a new new people that you're going to consider family your soul tribe family what's the next card dance boulder opal rattle okay 
could be dancing, but also really honestly what's coming to mind is ancestors here with this dance card and there is a show on Amazon Prime, I do believe. What is that show called? They're showing it to me. Thank you. It's called Undone, I do believe. It's like a... It's a show, but it looks like it's a cartoon. It looks like it's animated, but it's not. They just put anime over the actual characters in it. So you might want to look up that show. But anyways, in that show, she pays homage to her ancestors by dancing. So that might be what you're doing too, or maybe it's crossed your mind. We have black tourmaline and feather with cleansing. So cleansing yourself from those negative forces. Even though, yes, you are protected from these negative forces, you still need to cleanse your energetic auric field daily, every day, or every time you encounter somebody, okay? Especially those who are uh, making it really hard to be around those who bring your energy down whom you get really sleepy around or after in yeah this could be happening in reflection too about people near you and family or community whom was really depleting of your energy your light source and I feel like pulling cards out of this deck too so I do think I, I reshared another read of mine called What's Your Superpowers? So you might want to look into that. We have Milky Way with Perspective. Milky Way coming out over your... Okay, we have 25 and 26 here. Someone help me with communication. Speaking something into existence, but also speaking up on how you're seeing something differently. Something that you thought was supposed to be one way, but now you have new ideas and beliefs around it. And you may be vocalizing these ideas to family, the family that taught you these other beliefs that you're these outmoded and outdated beliefs. And now it's like your ancestors are behind you. Like, yes, even your grandmothers and grandfathers, you know, whom passed in the past few years, I feel they are standing behind you 100% and they're saying, no, we are not shaming you. We're not judging you. No matter what your parents tell you, they are trying to shed light that love is love is love right and this is funny that i have the pride robot over here this is for gay pride month we got these in june it's june of every year so don't be afraid to go show your support for those you know speaking up for those who can't speak for themselves right defending others we also have the number nine six and seven nine seven six it's a very spiritual impact of triple numbers right there guys and also the number synchronicity, five, six, seven. And then I'm also seeing that you've got seven, seven here. I'm really into the numbers. Look, tree is coming out with grounding. You have tree with tree. Dancing will be very grounding for you, okay? Dancing on the earth, barefoot, cracked. Clay is coming to mind as well. <clears throat> and look, karma DNA, yes, that's, that's a... Uh, Validation that your ancestors are with you every step of the fucking way and they're just waiting for you to reach out and say Hey, yeah, I need help with this help communication. They said communicating. I heard that big and clear communicating your new perspective um, You might not be able to change the way people think in your family But you sure can give them a different perspective by speaking your truth speaking how you feel about something Pardon me look Dance came out again. You got a lot of double confirmations group one. You guys are seeing the numbers, aren't you? You're seeing the signs that keep passing you by. And then we also have the feather over here, but there's a wing and a wing, a moth wing, a butterfly wing, black tourmaline would be very beneficial for your protection right now. Okay. Get some, place it next to your bed, in your work area, put one in your car, wear one. There's celebration that's going to be coming in though. And I feel like, oh, look. Felt like looking at the bottom of the deck. Handprints, serpents, those are good omens, okay? Ancestors, healing generations. You are that healing generation of that lineage, okay? You've made a breach into a new beginning, a new dawn. Coming out of solitude, you've uh, been in creation. Ooh, compassion for yourself, okay. I could keep going, but I'm not going to because I have two other groups to attend to. Let's see what your final message is, group one. Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. He's studying there. He's reading 949 on the timer. And there's a winged angel right behind him. Eight of Ariel. 
could be a good angel to look into, okay? See what you can call on her for help with. Group one, I hope it helped. I hope it made sense. If it did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for me. It's greatly appreciated. Love and light. All right, group two, those that chose the little Tweety Tweeter or the Amethyst Stone. Amethyst is very grounding, very protecting, but it also works with your third eye chakra, even though Amethyst is purple and your crown chakra is purple. There's other things. Also, I'm being drawn to show you this. It looks like raw Amethyst, but it's actually called the Super 7. It helps. It's got seven different things that it helps you with spiritually. You might want to look into getting that or look into it more, okay? I will try to remember. You guys can't really see. <clears throat> I'm having to do everything upside down. So, ooh, healer of the G healer of the Jesus, <laughs> healer of the ages. I mean, he do look like a Jesus, don't he? Walking away. Okay, group. This is tying in from group one. They did have the message about a outdated beliefs and stepping away from certain um, cultural aspects, maybe having a new appreciation <clears throat> so it's like you know he i'm just going to depict this as J jesus okay jesus you know he wants you to just be happy and that love is love is love we have the number synchronicity one five five one and you also have six nine six here as well so you might want to look into that if you're seeing six 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 it's not a bad number it 666 is the number of unconditional love and we've always been taught to fear that number or the number 13 and black cats you know certain stuff like that but that's not the case that's just what some man did they projected out they made up these rules and guidelines to fit their standards to help control people okay i, I swear to you that's that's really come straight from the source right there the bible yeah some of it depicts a lot of truth but there's also a lot of falseness in that thing too. Hand, in need of help of assistance and guidance. So asking for a hand, he's holding his hands out and he's like, here, I'm here to help you. You have to ask, you have free will. I can't just deem in where I feel necessary. Then everybody would live a wonderful, beautiful, happy life, right? We're humans, we have free will. We have to ask for it. Just like here with people on this earth plane with us, we have to ask for assistance we have to reach out but also he could have been sending you assistance and you kept walking away from it as well what's that story with the the guy in the middle of the ocean or whatever or the raging river a flood and he's and then god sends him a boat a helicopter you know and he's like no my jesus will save me but he was like dude or maybe it was god and he was like i sent you three different types <laughs> like i have to use people and things around you okay flowers happiness there's also a situation a toxic situation somebody's needing to walk away from or move away from be it a person or a job or something or even toxic family members and he's um you know maybe in this religion that you're in or you were brought up with a belief that you don't turn your back on family blood is thicker than water but that's not always the case a toxic person is still a fucking toxic person and it's not okay that's not okay anymore okay you're gonna see bluebirds for confirmation Walking away from happiness, though, look, we've got flowers. She's holding flowers. I'm going to put happiness over appreciation, okay? Because there's, like, a new appreciation you have for yourself. And you're like, I know what my beliefs are, and I know they're right for me. What's this card? Oh, look, walking away from a younger woman. Dealing's a relationship with a younger woman. Walking away from it. Because it's not worth the effort anymore, right? They're on a different timeline than you. They're on a different healing journey, and it's going to be... It's just a need to turn around. You're not turning your back on them, but you're doing what's best f for you, for your own happiness, because you appreciate and value yourself too much to keep dealing with a situation. I'm really feeling drawn to pull other cards over here. So give me a moment. I'm going to pause it to save some time. 1422. Okay. So I asked for a clarity card for this walking away in young women. Look what came out. Bad health. Yeah, they're causing you a lot of anxiety. Um, maybe you get really nervous tiptoeing on eggshells around this person. Like, it's like you, no matter what you do, you can't make them happy. And you're just run through the mud, I heard. Run through the mud. Maybe your name has been drugged through the mud. Maybe they make you feel like crap. This could be a mother figure as well. I know it does say younger woman. You could have a very young mother. 
a younger sibling I heard too. A time of need. Maybe they're blaming you, saying, pointing fingers, saying that you walked away from them in their biggest time of need. Well, if people don't communicate with you on what's going on in their life, how did you know? Like, how did you, you can't be blamed for that. You didn't know the severity of the situation either, okay? Stop blaming yourself. It's okay. There is a gift coming in for you, though. Be open to receiving. Look, a hand. And there's a hand. Look, these empty hands are going to be filled soon. What's this happiness and appreciation? A new appreciation or new awareness? Uh, appreciation of the finer things in life, the little things. Stopping to smell the roses, right? This will bring you happiness. There's flowers on this branch, too. Uh, what's that? Look, poverty in reverse. You're seeing things differently. A different financial timeline also is what I just heard. A, a bird in the bush is two in the barrel. Whatever that saying is, you might want to look into that. Anything else here? On the distant horizons. This isn't far away. This is coming up very soon. In the next two to four weeks. On the bottom of the deck, yeah, I have expect. A new occupation. A job part of your journey okay you might have to work you might have to travel and work too you might have to travel it might be a really good commute for you too you're wondering if it's going to be of to pay off in the long run and i feel like it is going to for you let me get some medicine oracle cards over here we're going to put these back up when's that <sighs> Oh, Divine Feminine, the moon. Group one got a moon card too. Black Moonstone. And look, she's holding something in her hand. What is that? I don't know what it is. I might have to get the book out for that. But look, like I said, this is the second card you've gotten that had something in it. Could be a new gift, an ability coming in for you too. And also his hands, they're not really empty. Your hands are healing, group two. Why didn't I think of that sooner? Reiki, okay, maybe you've been looking into Reiki or becoming a Reiki practitioner or curious about it. Doesn't hurt to venture out of that comfort zone, right? Whoa, that came over fast. Retreat, green calcite mountain. Retreating from this situation. Yeah, you need to retreat from that situation for show. That was a, this is the, this is the obstacle that's facing you. Should I walk away? Should I keep sticking around? I don't know if they'll be okay on their own. I feel like they need me. They really guilt me. They make me regret things. No, you don't need them. They'll be okay. They're just manipulating you to get their way. Both, that's too many cards, Spirit, but actually I saw Sacred Healing, Medicine Drum, Malachite, so they need sacred healing, as do you. You're going to be going, we had that journey card a while ago. You're stepping onto that healing journey. The, the journey to find your true self. To find your own happiness. Your own joy. I'm going to reach in for happiness. Yeah, dance. Something's coming in towards you that it's going to be, you're going to be so grateful and happy about it. It's going to make you want to dance. You're going to be doing the happy dance. <laughs> and look, I cut the deck on celebration. And then look, angels and spirit guides connecting with them. Okay, soul searching, divine union, seeing the synchronicities, falling back into step with them. Soul Retrieval. Man, you guys are on it, aren't you? I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, there's the deck. Okay. So, we've got number nine, number six, number one. There's an every, with every ending, there is a beginning. Okay? By walking away from whatever situation, they're healing too, though. Keep that in mind. They're on their own healing journey, and maybe they need you out of their life because... They need your energy. They're too much. They, they are using you as an excuse. Or maybe you are using them as an excuse. To divert your own healing. Your own reflection on what you need to go towards. And what needs what doors you need to open. What, that are, have been closed for so long. In, your, in yourself. Within your past. And there's something you're averting. A situation. You're averting something or they're averting something. But you're going to get through it. Okay. You're 
angels and spirit guides are there with you waiting for you you know your god your jesus whomever all of the above they're going to send you birds as messengers bluebirds okay we've got two birds here i'm just now noticing this uh, for someone here, you could have a younger daughter, too. Maybe you're needing to do a, a retreat, a getaway with them. Or maybe you're just needing to completely remove yourself from their presence. Um, I know whenever we're in close quarters with everybody and our, everybody's energy starts conflicting with one another. And then we, like, seem to get irritated with the people around us. Um, shit just popping off, getting uh, more short-tempered and that sort of thing. So the best thing to do is to just let everybody... Like, just separate from everybody. Let's see what your closing message is. Three of Raphael. Reasons to celebrate. You had celebrate out of this deck, too. A community of friends. Happy announcements regarding relationships or children. Holy crap. Mermaids here. Look, your ship's coming in. And there is an abundance of magic on it. There is a lot of magic that's fixing to open for you. I feel like getting another card for you, so... This one fell, so I'm going to take it. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism. So, yeah, that could be your new calling, group two. Environmental activism, or whatever it's called. That one tried to come out, too. Gabriel, again. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge. Opportunities for excitement and adventure. You're, any uh, obstacle or any challenge that arises, you are going to overcome it, okay? Because you're in a good spot right now, mentally, physically, and emotionally. And I just dropped my Super 7 on the floor. Oh, wow. All right. Well, this is all I have for you, Group 2. I hope it helped. I hope it resonated. Joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. I hope it helped. I hope it made sense. If it did, hit that like and subscribe button for me. It's greatly appreciated. You helped my channel grow. I love each and every one of you, and I'm very grateful for you. Love and light. All right, last but not least, group three, unless you're coming back from the other two groups, that's fine as well. I get excited when people like to watch all three. Um, makes me feel like I'm definitely not doing this all for nothing, right? So if you chose the UFO, it says, take me away. <laughs> Manitou Springs, Colorado. It's where we went on vacation last year. So I'm going to put this over here. Or the Labradite. Okay, this is a very psychic stone. It helps with a lot of psychic abilities. Also helps with communication and expression. I just now heard that. So let's see what we got going for you. Magician and the Mirror. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. yeah. The Magician. That's the Magician of Tarot, I do believe. There's that amulet I was talking about. Somebody's really drawn to a necklace extra protection at this time or evil eye some things get something with evil eye on it and wear it too extra protection is always better yes you are protected you're divinely protected but energetically you're protected from harm but energetically speaking we need extra protection at this time because there's a lot of ascension going on on the planet right now and a lot of beings are there around people trying to help them fight it and a lot of people are choosing to stay in the darkness in fear guilt anger yeah, they're choosing to stay in anxiety. A broken heart. I am so sorry, group three. I th you might have something in group two, too. You have nine, nine, eight here. Uh, being true to a friend will injure your future. Be careful. Okay, this, it pulled out with this deck. A letter that you will receive, act on it at once. You will soon meet the one you most want to meet. And be very careful of a blonde you know. So yeah, definitely group two coming through about walking away from certain people. Because they had a younger woman card as well. So be careful of a blonde you know. And it does, she doesn't even have to be a true blonde, okay? Stay vigilant. I just, yeah, stone people. Stay vigilant. Be careful of whom you're sharing information with at this time, okay? Actually, I'm going to go ahead and get these cards and see what we've got. Target, a goal-oriented person, but they just said beware of somebody, right? So you could be the target of a, a lot of people's angst. You could be have a lot of fingers pointed at you, people blaming you for stuff, you know? And these people might smile in your face about something. you got to be careful, group three. The key, successful outcome to your problem. There is... You have the key. You are the magician. 
you have all the answers within you. Uh, I heard stop seeking outside validation as well. That's where we go keeping, keeping things close to your heart, okay? Keeping information close to you. Take care. Enemies are working against you. They don't want you to succeed. These people are making you a target of their slander, I just heard. Slander? They don't want you to succeed, group three. I am so sorry for that. Look, expect change in courtship situation. High honor. The one, that other card said the one you, tr the true one that you want to meet, will you will meet. It's for someone who is single here, I guess. Can we get more information on the bat, the broken heart, and anxiety? I feel like that card wants to come out. High honor, okay? You, your team, they don't fuck around whenever it comes to you. You're highly protected, all right? And your team is like, look, we're tired of these people talking smack behind your back and then they're being two-faced, you know? They turn around and then they're they're sweet to you in your face and then they turn around and they, they egg you, you know? You might have gotten the message that you were a golden child, you were a chosen one. You might be really drawn to uh, UFO shows, paranormal activity. High honor, connecting with your star seed family could be getting the message as your star seed light worker mm -hmm. earth angel child these people okay this could be involving your child too okay always keep in mind it could pertain to past present potential and future not only talking about you but people's situations going on around you so your child could be very psychic as well your child holds the key a child around you holds the key to something magic in the mirror doing mirror magic somebody doing mirror magic on you or you're doing mirror magic they want you in bad health like i said they don't want you to succeed no do not retaliate okay there's no retaliation here but the need to protect your energy and cleanse it and do the evil eye wow an official person your child's going to become an official person, too. He's there. I say he, so I guess he. it's a he. In higher realms. On the distant horizon, you're going to receive a message. Something about something from the courts. This could be a custody case as well. Some Yeah, custody case. Um, somebody, a false person, shaming your name. They got your name in their mouth. You're living rent free in their heads too. That's why they keep popping up into your path. It's a name that you keep seeing. Somebody's name you keep seeing. Uh, concerned with a main female, okay? Masculine energy. Uh, I don't know why I said masculine. I meant feminine. Oh, this person you work with. This is a person. For some of you, it's someone you work with. And then we have main male in reverse. So it could be a transgender person or a masculine energy who's very feminine. I'm going to pick these up now. So I'm going to stop there because I do have other reads on my debt on my channel. Um, there is one in particular. It might be the in a pick a card playlist. And it says, the title is, what's the significance of this relationship? What's the significance of this connection i do believe i do believe that's it okay there's rejuvenation here though you have the key to your own rejuvenation green tourmaline coming in plants plant medicine too this is going to help you open something up it's going to help open a gateway for you make sure you're setting the intention that you work with benevol benevolent beings only and that you're not accidentally letting any false light beings in okay soul awakening they're realizing <laughs> these people are realizing that you are actually we have amethyst a celestial too so group two definitely sorry my dog is touchy today medicine pouch soul awakening so this is from a, this is a connection from a past life as well Connection from a past life. 
but your soul is waking up or their soul is waking up to who you your magnificence i just heard to who you really are there's yeah something about reflection too this person could have been reflecting about you and them on a previous situation and now they're like reliving it all over again and like spewing obscenities in your name so just be careful group three okay there's ancestor healing here with amber and the divine masculine coming in yeah i am presence waking up to your i am presence chakra alignment cleansing okay connection connected to the stars here i see it i feel like cutting the deck oh freedom eagle yes your higher self is sending you freedom an initiation a crossing into another threshold into creativity a new creative phase a new creative cycle is opening for you because you've gone through the sacred healing the medicine drum malachite i love this group three it's okay this is what you've overcome in the past you've dealt with this your entire life for some of you people who just really like maybe you just couldn't even figure out like i can sense they don't like me but they're really nice to me but then maybe later you might have had that one loudmouth friend that was like oh yeah they couldn't stand you honey you know thank thank goodness for truth truthful people right but it's always good to get confirmation and know that you're not crazy but um like your entire life people have just really been really enthralled with you and just really in like i just saw someone putting their sh their um elbows on the table and putting their head in their hands like wow like adoring you and then there's people who just really just you can tell they just can't stand you like you don't even have to do anything group three they're just like they don't even like how you look, but that's their problem, okay? Make sure you set good intentions on this journey that you're embarking upon, uh, connecting with your divine feminine more, nurturing yourself, balancing, bringing something into balance with unconditional love, having unconditional love for yourself and them too that's causing a rift in something, okay? Because this is where you hold your personal power is that unconditional love and your angels and spirit guides are very, very proud of you. You just don't even know. You've overcome a lot of challenges and you've gone through significant transformations in your lifetime as well. The Aurora, Aurora, O-U-R-O-R-A. It kind of looks like Aurora, the snake, the serpent coming out here again. Let's see what this last message is for you. Time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want and take action. A need for detoxification. from caffeine it feels anxiety let me go ahead and get a few more messages here <coughs> take great pride in your excellent work practice makes perfect consider getting additional education i think group one had this as well consider getting additional and this is coming out over broken heart so something that you may have seemingly failed at previously or something that you told somebody that you wanted to go towards and they kind of broke your heart in a way because they were like, oh, I don't think that's for you. I don't think that's a good idea. But now you're like, you know what? Fuck it. I hold the key. This is my life. It's my life. It's now or never. I ain't gonna live forever. A positive new emotional experience. Fulfilling romantic relationships. Relationships. <laughs> Deep and lasting spiritual insights. Also, you thought maybe in previous connection that that was a a deep lasting relationship and this person was a wolf in sheep's clothing but little do they know you're a nightmare dressed as a daydream right <clears throat> and you have invested wisely have patience and wait for the harvest review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor crystal healing here too okay make sure you're using that using the extra per, uh, protective measures cleansing the auric fields <clears throat> Reiki energy healing would be beneficial to you as well. It can help also to clear your energy fields. So this is all I have for you, group three. I hope it helped. I hope it resonated. I hope it made sense. If it did, please hit that like and subscribe button for me. Greatly appreciated. You helped the channel grow. And um, if you're into a personal read, my contact information is below. Okay. I do have a, a lot of slots open and the time is 737, by the way. Love and light.